Sturgeon carry the can as the SNP crumble when COVID-19 case take a toll on Scottish economy. Nicola Sturgeon has been slammed as the SNP's handling of spiking COVID-19 case numbers and staff absences take their toll on the Scottish economy. The First Minister will give an update to the recalled Scottish Parliament in a virtual address on Wednesday afternoon. Deputy Leader John Swinney said the Scottish Government was actively considering cutting self-isolation periods to ease the staff shortage crisis caused by the highly infectious Omicron variant, with further details to follow in Wednesday's briefing. COVID-19 case numbers have skyrocketed in Scotland since the Christmas period, with 17,259 cases reported on Tuesday. This came after a new record of 20,217 positive confirmed cases on Monday. Ms Sturgeon will address Holyrood as she did last week, when she was pressed by Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross on the changes to self-isolation periods made in England. Mr Ross has reiterated this call as staff absences in the country mount, with train operator ScotRail reducing the number of services they can operate and Caledonian McBrain, ferry provider for Scotland and the Scottish Isles, has slashed their timetable. Mr Ross called for the First Minister to bring Scottish self-isolation guidelines in line with those in England, whether those who test negative on days 6 and 7 of isolation can cut their quarantine short. He added that household contacts of positive cases should be released from isolation, provided they return a negative test result. Mr Ross said, Scotland has the strictest self-isolation rules anywhere in the United Kingdom. We understand the need for caution, but Nicola Sturgeon's dithering and delaying is continuing to have a major impact on frontline services and the wider economy, due to the sheer numbers having to isolate. Deputy leader of the Scottish Labour Party, Jackie Bailey, also expressed support for the measure after both Wales and Northern Ireland reduced the mandatory isolation period to seven days last week. She said, the SNP must use this update to confirm whether they will change self-isolation requirements in line with the latest evidence, to stop staff absences piling yet more pressure on businesses and services this winter. Deputy First Minister John Swinney said, We are obviously looking at the clinical advice that is crucial in the handling of this. We do not in any way, shape or form serve anybody's interest if we ignore the clinical dimension of this issue, and the risk of transmissibility of allowing individuals to return to the workplace if they're still carrying the virus. Staffing absences have hit the Scottish Health Services, and are of real concern, according to Nursing Union RCN Scotland. RCN Scotland's Eileen McKenna said, nursing teams are already short-staffed, with record levels of vacancies. They are mentally and physically exhausted after almost two years of relentless pressure. This was echoed by the head of health intelligence for NHS Grampian, Gillian Evans, who said this week would be a crunch week for getting to grips with the scale of the Omicron variant's impact. I think this is the crunch week for us as we begin to see the impact of those high cases and schools going back, the intergenerational effects of mixing over Christmas, all of that will start to be shown now in the data. This disruption includes travel and transportation, with ScotRail Operations Director David Simpson saying that the operator wanted to provide customers with a level of certainty, which is why we are introducing some temporary changes to our timetable. Nicola Sturgeon has abandoned her tougher coronavirus self-isolation rules, cutting the period from 10 to 7 days in line with the rest of the UK. The Scottish First Minister had faced pressure from opposition parties to make the change, which applies as long as people test negative on days 6 and 7 of isolation. The changes will come into effect at midnight on Wednesday. In a further alteration to current rules, Ms Sturgeon announced that people who test positive on a lateral flow device will no longer need to take a PCR test to confirm the result, but instead immediately isolate and report the result to test and protect. Meanwhile, Ms Sturgeon said that current restrictions on large gatherings, hospitality and leisure businesses will remain until at least Jan 17, but that no further restrictions to tackle Omicron will be announced. Restrictions